Hey guys, how's it going? Move Motion Graphics here, and today we'll be taking a look at how you can animate 2D leaves in After Effects. We will also take a look at how you can get this noise texture in After Effects. There are various techniques that you can use to achieve the same kind of animation here. So you can use the Puppet tool, or you can just manually animate it. So today we'll just be taking a look at one of the animation techniques. As for any start of a new project, you just want to hit right click, New Composition, click OK, and make a new solid. And I have already prepared some leaves in Illustrator before this, which I'm going to import into my project manager. So I'm going to leave all of those assets down in the description below. So right now I'm just moving one of the leaves layer that I have into the previous composition that we just made. So you want to go right click, create shape layers from vector. And the reason why we're doing this is just so that we have a little bit more control over the individual shapes that makes up the whole leaf itself. So right now what you want to do is duplicate the layer and name the one above stroke and the one below leaf. So as the name suggests, we're just going to hide away all the elements that we don't want for each of the layers. And as you can probably tell, we only have the base layer which is the shape of the leaf and a separate layer for the stem of the leaf which is the stroke. So right now we're going to animate the stem first, so create a mask over it and head on over to the first second mark and create a keyframe animating the mask. And we are going to head back to the first frame and make sure that the mask is showing none of the stem. And highlight the keyframes and hit F9, go to the graph editor and edit as you like it. So right now we just want to head over to the leaf layer and make sure that all the anchor points are set to the bottom of the respective ovals. You can do that by hitting Y on your keyboard while selecting the specific shape layer. So right now we're moving on to the animation of the actual leaf itself. So how I would like this to appear is to scale the bottom part followed by the middle part and then the top part itself. So we're just going to do that. So to add a little bit more life to the scale animation, add another keyframe just right before the ending and make it a little bit bigger so that there is that bounce before it ends and stops. Select all your keyframes and hit F9 again, go to the graph editor and right click and select value graph. So this is where you'll be editing how your shape appears by controlling all the anchor points that you see in the graph editor. And after you're done with one of the animation for one of the shape layers, you just want to copy all the keyframes in that shape layer and paste it to the other leaf shape layers. And to make the animation more interesting, you just want to offset them by a few frames. And now that you're done with that, we're just going to move on to the creation of the pot and the stem below the leaf, which is actually just simple shape layers. But one important tip that you can use is to right click your rectangle layer and convert it to a bezier path so that you can edit it even further. So afterwards we're going to convert the shape and leaf into a pre-composition and duplicate it below. And we will have to convert the layer into a stroke layer. So use the effects on the screen and you will get the same results. So a quick explanation of what we are doing with these effects is that the fill just converts the whole image into a block so that we can use the edges of the block to form a stroke, which is what the two fine edges are for. And right now we're going to continue into making the shadow of the leaf. So these are the bunch of effects that I always use to achieve the green looking gradient effect. The important effect in this whole bunch of effects is scatter, which basically scatters around the pixels to create a more grainy look that you can even animate. So right now you just want to split the layer right after it animates out by hitting on Ctrl, Shift and D. This is just so that we will not affect the previous animations that we did with the future animations that we are going to do with the leaf. So right now we are going to parent the shadow layer into the main leaf layer so that when we animate the leaf, the shadow will follow along as well. And let's begin the animation of the rotation of the leaf. So create another keyframe and get some rotation going on here. So 
so now that we got the basic rotation animation of the leaf just leave it right there for now it doesn't look fresh it looks stale so we have to animate the individual shapes first we'll expand the leaf layer and head on over to the top oval and animate that rotation too And after you've added the rotation of the top oval, everything should look still a bit stale. So we are going to head on over to the graph editor to edit the values again so that everything will look a little bit more cohesive. And after you are done with that, we should have our fresh looking leaf ready for the other animations that we are about to animate. So to animate the stem, we will be finding an effect called Bandit. So what Bandit basically does is basically bends our layer to the two points that we specify. So this is very useful in this case because we can't manually unbend the straight vector that we already bent from Illustrator. So to animate the bendiness of this effect, make a keyframe for the bend parameter and adjust the values. And remember to split the layer into two so that you will not affect the animation of the leaf stem growing out. So for this part, I'm just remaking my grain shadow. And after you are done with this, we are done with the whole leaf animation. So right now we're just gonna head back to the main composition and add some smaller elements that will also enhance the whole animation.
So other than using these small little elements to enhance your scene, you can also use camera movements and even background animations, which will also help to convey the whole environment itself. And with that, we are done with the whole animations. So I really hope that you guys have learned something from this tutorial. And if you guys have any suggestions, just leave it down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you ASAP. See y'all.